everyone, it's me Curtis. I'm back here with another video for you guys. Yeah. Hey everyone, it's me Curtis, and today I have a very nice video to share with you guys. If you have been on my channel recently, then you will have seen this video that I posted of my mouse cage tour. It was German style, all that. If you haven't checked that out, you can actually just check that out up here in the card. In today's video, I'm going to bring you a hamster German style cage tour. And this is the third time that I'm recording the part I'm doing now because I didn't know if I wanted to add an intro in it and an outro or anything like that, but I decided to just so I could kind of explain what a German style cage is since I get so many questions on why it's called a German style cage. So a German style cage is simply a cage that people across the world try and replicate unless you live in Germany that very resembles that resembles a very natural and wood <laughs> Go in the room! It is a cage that represents a very natural and woodsy look. The whole idea of German style cages is that they are very enriching and fulfilling for your small pets and they have, like I said, a lot of wood and natural type of elements to the cage. So things like various substrates, deep substrates, um, different haze and a lot of foraging type things that make your cage look very natural uh, as or as close to as what your hamster will probably live in something like in the wild. That sounds so weird. That is why people like me that live in the United States, Canada, and other places that are not Germany or that centralized area at all try and replicate these cages in order to give our pets the kind of benefits of living in a German style cage. With all of that being said, let's just get on into the video.
that is it for Jasper's cage. <laughs> Alright guys, that is it for Jasper's German style cage. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this cage, and if you did, let me know down below and give this video a like so more people can find this video. I really, really like the way it turned out, and uh, if you can kind of tell, I sort of missed the millet when I was first starting to film, but as I was looking around, I was like, I feel like there's something missing, which it was. The millet spray was missing, so I added that in uh, sort of afterwards, and as you guys can see, he loved the millet spray. If you guys want to subscribe to my channel to make sure that you don't miss, uh, what? Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any more of my future content, just like today's. I have a whole hamster playlist which you can check out up here dedicated to a whole playlist of hamster videos related to hamster care. I also run my own business which is run through Etsy where I create my own pet supplies so if you want to check that out and possibly get some pet supplies, the link to that is always in the description of all of my videos. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you have any video ideas, make sure you leave them down below in the comments, but until then, I hope to all see you guys in the next one.